come on in to the movie. And I'm coming in with y'all too. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, y'all, come on in. Yes. Hey. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snack. Let's sit and chat with who? Me. This hood girl to the hood. Y'all, the movie is Seasoned Rice. I've been doing seasoned rice for many years. Uh-huh. And, uh, and I told y'all about my seasoned rice a long time ago, too, didn't I? I did. Y'all, the director is some mother chicken. Y'all already know. I told y'all before how I did, how I do it now. And I'll tell you again. And, uh, yeah, this is scene one. Take two. Let's roll the tape. Hey, y'all. Well, I didn't cook very much, um... Today, because it's going to be the last week that I'm cooking, because y'all know next week next week end is Christmas. So, I'll be um, noodling it, sandwiching it, and fa uh, not fast food, but frozen foods from Marie Callender, that is. She's the only one that I like. So, um, without ado, uh, let's say prayers, let's toast, and let's start eating, because my food is really good and hot. Father God, thank you for this another day. Thank you for this new week that is coming. Thank you for looking beyond our faults because we have many. Thank you for the word that I heard today from my pastor. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Lord, those who are sitting with me right now, I ask that you bless them according to your purpose and your will and your way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, we got water today again until later. <laughs> so, uh, this is for a new week, new blessings. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers. How y'all doing? How y'all Sunday going and how was church today? And what did y'all cook for your Sunday meal for those who do cook on Sundays? Uh, we have some simple food today. Uh, I did two types of chicken. Uh, I had a pack of chicken legs and I had one pack of uh, chicken thighs. So for my thighs, I smothered them in my, Roch my Rochester sauce. Is that the right way to say it? We all say it differently, but that's what I did for the thighs. The uh, legs I put in the air fryer, so hopefully it will be enough for the whole week because, again, I'm not cooking anymore. So, y'all, you can have some. I only got one piece of chicken because it's a big thigh. Y'all, don't that look good? That, do, that looks so good. I got some uh, buttered corn right here. And then I have my seasoned rice as well. Take what you want. Here you go. Here you go. Take what you want. Here you go. Here you go. Y'all done? Okay. Let's eat. I got hot sauce over here. I don't know if I want it. So, y'all, I've been looking at the games, football that is. My Cowboys won today 30-7. to seven. Mm, I must have been happy. Mm -mm. Uh, I was looking at the Saints. I'm not a big Saints fan. And uh, Green Bay was tied. So I said, let me just get something to eat. I'll cut the game on once I'm done, y'all. So how y'all doing? Um, I wanted to talk. I want to tell y'all something about hiding behind your truths. Mm. Mm. Corn is so good, y'all. Well, this 
on a cob or out the can. This corn is good. I put some butter, some sugar, salt and pepper, just salt and pepper, nothing else. And um, onion and bell pepper. And, and uh, Did I put some garlic in here? No, just onion and, and bell pepper. Let's do it. Uh oh, I can start my doing. Mm, mm, mm. Why do I always forget? Y'all, yeah, it really feels good. Mm hmm. Y'all, yeah, I, uh. Mm. That's good. Mm. Y'all, yeah, this is really good. Mm hmm. I think people, um, when they tell you something, tell you they're going to do something, and they don't do it, they don't call, they wait for a few days, damn, hmm. They wait for a few days before they call you again because they know that they lied and they can't admit it, so they hide behind the truth. I hate that. I hate it. With a passion, a purple passion, that is. There you go. The good too. Just a simple Worcester, Worcester sauce. I kind of I, I diluted just a little bit, and uh, of course I have onion, bell pepper, garlic. Damn, it's good. Mmm, don't some hot dog. Damn, it's so good. Oh. oh. Yeah, just a little. And so, for me, if I don't want to do something, I don't want to do it. For me, my yeses are yes and no's no's. When I'm not sure about it, that's the gray area, and I try not to ever do gray. And so I just don't do nothing. Before I tell you yeah or nay, and I, I'm just confused about it, I just don't say nothing. You know, it is what it is, you know? This is so good. Well, sometimes I'm glad that I'm single <laughs> from uh, my choice of being single. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes I always struggle with the marriage word, but I know God wants us to be married for some of us, especially if you want to do sex. It's a, he says it's better to be married. You know, than to sleep around. And sometimes I struggle with that. So I choose to be celibate until I meet somebody. And if I don't, I'm good. I'm still happy. But you know, when you're celibate and you're single and you're happy, It's, it's so beautiful because 
It's like out of sight, out of mind, you know? Things happen. It really does, you know? Mm-hmm. Good things happen. You know? So I encourage women, young and old, in between your breakup from your just a um, regular relationship or marriage, I really encourage you to take your time to heal. I'll say it again for me when it was my husband, it took seven years. I didn't date and I was glad about that. This time it's four. It was going on four years. You got to take time to heal, you know, because sometimes you have to refine yourself if that makes sense, you know. Reestablish yourself, if I can say that. And don't sleep with people when you're trying to get yourself back, you know. You'll find yourself thinking differently but on a whole lot of levels. You realize that when you wake up, you're smiling and it's just not for a reason. You, you're happy. You know what I mean? Really happy. That's what it's done for me. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm human. I am human. Sometimes I think on my own selfish ways that I just want a companion, you know, somebody to play with <laughs> if, if you want the truth, you know. Uh... But they say a few years ago, somebody just to kick it with, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That bone wanted me to chew it. So, and I still <laughs> think like that today. That's why I still choose to be celibate because I don't want to just kick it. I do want to be married. But sometimes I just don't think I'm ready. You know? It's going to take a a special God knows. He's going to have to be so godly. So special. Mm -hmm. Smart. Intelligent. Know how to love and then make good love. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to know what you want. Sometimes you don't get everything because God knows what you need. Now, this food is so darn good. I think I'm going to kill this plate. It, this, this corn and rice together is so good. And this sure was a big thigh. But you know, let, me pick this, let me pick this damn thing up. Mm. You know, I think the struggle for single people, I can't talk about everybody because I don't know me. It's the holidays, you know, on my birthday. Sometimes when you leave your family's house or wherever you're going to be at, you just want to come home, eat leftovers before you put your food up, <laughs> make some cocktails, sit and talk to each other, you know, laugh, dance, make good love. Mm-hmm. 
That's what I miss the most. I miss that the most. I miss rolling over. Bad breath in the house. Saying, hey, honey, good morning. Did you sleep well? You know, but you got the sheet or the blanket halfway covering your mouth. I miss that. I mean, I can have it. I just don't want the men who want to give it to me. <laughs> I don't. This is just really good. It's like I'm stuffing my mouth on. It's good. Y'all, I had two bags of my cracklings. I had bacon cheddar. And then I have ranch and I'm going to open up with my cocktail today. When my neighbor and her son was here on Friday, he wanted those bacon ranch. So, Because the time before when I had a few bags, I gave them one to take home. And he really liked it. So when he saw it in my, in my thing, he was like... Menina, can I have some? Yes, baby, you can. Mm. I love that little boy. Mm -hmm. He a busybody. But he's very loving. I mean, just like any three-year-old that is. Do I want some more children? No. God knows that too. But I know how to love children. As long as they can go back where they came from. I ain't gonna lie. I do not. I, I hope that I don't meet a man that has small children. You know. Because where I am in my life, I've raised, I've raised my children. I'm done raising children. I'm not there anymore. I'm done. I can love anybody's children. I can't. But I don't want to be the mother. But this chicken is seasoned down to the core. Mm, damn, that's so good. This is the second time I clean my plate, y'all. And I ain't put a whole lot on here anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Yeah, this, this seasoning. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. I know I'm smacking y'all. But this is really good. Mm. You know you want to eat that gristle? Mm, mm, mm. Damn. Mm. That seasoning always in that, in that bone, you know? Always. I mean, when you season good, that it's just in that bone you want to suck the bone. I'm sorry, y'all. I was just talking about sex, though. So, kids, let's keep it real. He want to suck the bone. Okay, y'all. That's our time. Just when I finished all the food, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, look here. Let's sing ourselves out. I guess what I had to tell y'all. Well, I already told y'all some things. We'll do a continuation tomorrow. If it's God's will. Y'all see how I built right after I uh, get through eating. I tell y'all, it's just good food. Let's sing. You ready? 
Get your voices ready. Thank y'all for coming back. Thank you for sticking a stand. Let's do this. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this Sunday day, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with genuine love. I love you.